this is Hadith. I've noticed year after year from reviewing so many grappling arts and so many grappling images that it's all about coming to a conclusion organically and also after a lot of thought. So whether it is the human body is the same all over the world or if someone attacks this way, my only chance is to do this particular technique or that particular counter. And today we're going to see exactly that, but from the very old days. So this is something that even before the Edo period, uh, we're going to see a lot of grappling techniques that are still very much effective and used today. So the book that we're going to be going through is the Hokiryu uh, Jujutsu. It's a sword and jujitsu school, and you're going to see exactly that in the images. So it is uh, founded by Katayama Hisayasu back in 1596, and you're going to see uh, grappling techniques related to the sword. Um, obviously, it's reflected of the era, but nonetheless, these techniques are still very much viable. So the first one being someone is trying to take your sword from a very deep clinch. So he has both hands on top of yours trying to block you in a sense from moving, but uh, he is giving you the double underhook. And from there, you can go down, reap both legs, pulling them towards you, and they can just collapse and they will end up with nothing. So this is a textbook Morote Gari. So Morote Gari is a hand technique where you go in deep down and reap the hands, reap the legs, I'm sorry, towards you. And then they will just collapse because their foundation is no longer underneath them. So the next one you're going to see is also another famous takedown in wrestling and in old judo and jujitsu it's gripping the sleeve and also picking at the ankle uh, this is also known as kibisu gaishi which is taking back the heel and you see it's done by the sleeve and gripping the ankle so you pull down or you pull the sleeve and you take the ankle from underneath them leaving them with nothing to lean on and thus they collapse. So uh, this is, as you see, someone has their sword already drawn. So as someone is drawing their sword, you grip the free hand and you pick the heel that's underneath it. So here you see it's this Kodokan demonstration. The sleeve side, you take the heel that's underneath it and they just collapse. Uh, again, this technique is no longer legal in today's judo, unfortunately, but it is there from centuries ago. This next one is rather interesting. Someone is trying to draw their sword, you underhook their arm, and then you go in close for an outside hook or a ko sotogake. There's not much to say. Uh, rather, you just see the ko sotogake. You go to the far side, away from the sword, and hook the leg and take them down as you are also holding their hand so you can guide the throw downward. So as I mentioned earlier, this is a EI Jutsu school and also Jujutsu school. So you're going to see a lot of interaction with weapons, but these techniques can be done with open hands as well. This next one is, in my opinion, the most interesting. So someone is attacking with their sword. You go down, change your level and they shoot on your legs and from there they leave their head and neck exposed and they get caught in a front headlock or what we call guillotine and from there you can proceed to choke them and i don't need to say how popular it is today because of how effective it is uh, today still being done still being very effective uh, and here you can see it from the 1500s it's a conclusion that they came to way earlier so it's very reminiscent of the 2013 uh, final at the adcc susa versus gracie goes for the legs and gracie grabs the neck and gets the submission easily still being done centuries later so cannot talk about going for the legs of course without mentioning the great 
Randy Ferguson, the only man that have fought in MMA, IBJJF, ADCC, and the Olympics. So he was a monster when it comes to Sukuinage and Morotegari going for the legs. He absolutely just destroyed anyone in his path. He had all his bases covered, Neiwaza, the grip fighting, and attacking off the grips. I mean, look at that. This is just insane. But that being said, there is solutions to all this. But the whole thing with this is that banning techniques was never the answer. So the whole thing with safety and spectator friendly, this can be done very safely and very effectively. And it is spectator friendly. And just to show you that there is a solution to everything. This is Ferguson versus Jang in 2004 Olympics. He tried for all his great techniques and yet... Jang had a solution to everything, whether it is the leg picks, the transitions to Neiwaza, Jang had it all covered. So this is what we need in judo today. Not only the amazing attacks of Dr. Ferguson, but also Jang's defense. And that will make a complete judoka. We pride ourselves by being the kings and queens of throwing and yet we have half the body that we cannot even touch it, which is absolutely absurd. This that you just saw, whether it is the pickups of Dr. Ferguson, the Sukuinage Morotegari, or the knee pick, and the defense done by Jang against Dr. Ferguson is what judo needs, in my opinion. Today's climate has drastically changed and it's no longer about filling up Olympic seats. To me, it doesn't matter because I don't care about rules that cater to the 0.0001% of the athletes. They're the minority. We are the majority. And that's the judo that we want. And that's the judo that works. And that's the judo that you can take it anywhere, whether it is ADCC, IBJJF, MMA, or the streets, just like Dr. Randy Ferguson did. So I'll leave all his uh, social media down below, his YouTube channel, his Instagram account, and as well our as our interview that we had uh, earlier this year. So if you have anything else to add, please let me know down below. Also consider supporting me on Patreon for exclusive content. Uh, your support would mean greatly to keep this content growing and evolving. So let me know what is your favorite Teiwaza or hand technique or going for the legs for you back in the day and even today you still use it. This was Shadi and thank you for listening.